The Hawaii State Legislature held a joint session for a ceremony to honor fallen heroes. War so gallantly. The state awarded its highest honor, the Hawaii Medal of Honor, to 19 military members who lost their lives in service to their country. The medal is awarded to service members who were from Hawaii, attended school here, or were stationed at one of the military bases in the state. It doesn't matter whether a sailor, soldier, airman, or marine grew up in Hawaii or called Hawaii home for only a short period of time. Their war spirit will always be a part of our islands. And it doesn't matter whether the families of our heroes were from here or the mainland. Your loss is our loss. But I think when you talk to them today after the ceremony, uh, there's a realization that really our state cares about them and their family and uh, the person that they lost. Here to receive his medal is his parents, Thomas and Deborah Logan. Tom Logan, the father of one of the men honored at the ceremony, agrees. It's a feeling that you can't express sometimes. And to see this happen today with everybody here, is, they put us over the top. His son, Marine Corporal Joseph Logan, was an aerial observer stationed at Marine Corps Base Hawaii and was killed as a result of a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. Well, he was our GI Joey, and he loved the Marine Corps. And that's what he loved to do, he loved to fly, and the rest of the family was 100% behind him. This is the eighth year the state has held a Medal of Honor ceremony, a solemn annual tribute an example of Hawaii's deep respect for and strong bond with the military. Tech Sergeant Michael Jackson, Honolulu, Hawaii.